Hi friends! So today we are going to be doing a binder flip through. I have five K-pop binders, which I know sounds like a lot, especially given that I only really collect two groups, but they are all 1.5 inch binders and two of them are mini binders. <laughs> so anyways, we are going to start with my multi binder. So in this binder is Unhypen as well as all of the other groups whose <laughs> albums I happen to own. I only actively collect and I've been in BTS, and for and I've been, my bias is Nikki, and then I also bias Sunu, he's my second bias, and then Jungwon is my wrecker, so I collect Walk Me Alone. I am not finished with Dusk, sorry, Dawn, <laughs> but I am complete with Dusk. And then we also have Carnival, this is the down version. In its first, just because I think the backs of the down version match the up version very well. And then this is the hype version. And then we have the tickets as well as the pre order benefits. Okay, and then this section is my and I've been special photo cards. I primarily focus on album photo cards with I've been, but every now and then I will collect other cards, and when I do, I definitely try to at least have Nikki's. So these are the season's greetings. This is the End Connect PC. This is the second round of pre-orders for Carnival. I just got the this subunit because it has my bias line in it. This is the light stick PC. I still need Nikki's. And then these are from the Goo Goo package. And then this is also from the Goo Goo package. I really love merch that comes with a lot of full sets of photo cards. I think it's great. Okay, and then this is the Inconnect ticket and the Inconnect pre-order benefit. And then we move on to my very, very small TXT section. I just have Yeonjun, the His Memories PC, and that's from their first memories. And then next is Blackpink. These are from the album. This is the I want to say this is the With Drama pre-order benefit for Rosé's solo album R. And then these are the album cards that I pulled. And then these are the K-Town For You photo cards from her R photo book. And then these are the postcards from the R photo book. And then we have my Monster X section. And this is from All About Love, which is one of my favorite albums ever. And then this is from One of a Kind. I pulled Kiyan. And then in this next section is just all of the cards and things that I have to put up for trade or sale. That's at the back of this binder because this binder has a lot of room to grow. Okay, so next we can do my BTS album binder. I just used some of the B Deluxe Edition posters as cover pages. I do really like them. I think they're super cute. But anyways, these are all of BTS's album photo cards. They're all in one binder. This binder's getting pretty full, so I'll probably have to get a new one for their next comeback, whenever that is. But anyways, I am very behind on the older albums. I definitely focus more on the newer releases, and I'm working my way backwards. But I did finish all the cards that I plan on collecting for School Love Affair Special Edition. I pulled the group and I pulled Tay. And I am so biased, so I definitely collect all of Hobie and Yugi's album cards. But this is HYYH Part 1, and then HYYH Part 2, yeah, lots of empty spaces. And then I am planning on collecting OT7 for Young Forever, or Forever Young. I always get that confused. Okay, and then this is Wings, and I will collect OT7 for Wings as well. And then we have You Never Walk Alone, Her L. Her O, her E. So for L, I pulled Jimin. For O, I pulled I pulled Hobie, and then for E, I also pulled Hobie. And I'm collecting OT7 for all three of those sets. And then we have Tier Y. I pulled Cookie. Tier O, I pulled Tay. Tier U, I pulled Cookie. <laughs> And then tier R, I pulled Yungi, and I'm collecting OT7 for all of tier. 
I've made the least progress with answer just because the photo cards are not my favorite so I'm like less motivated to collect them. But here is answer F and it's on a page together with her V and I pulled these three cards for that. I do tend to just keep my pulls <laughs> and I will collect OT7 for the Persona postcards eventually. And then we have Persona 3 and 4 and I pulled Jimin and Jin. And then this is Persona version 1 and 2 as well as Mod 7 version 3. I am collecting Mod 7 version 1, 2, and 4 OT7. And here I pulled Jin. And then I pulled Jin again. And then I pulled Yoongi, and this is my first Yoongi album haul. <laughs> I had opened a decent amount of albums before getting Map of the Soul version 4, and I hadn't pulled Yoongi at all, so I was like really excited when I got that card. And then now we're on to the B section, which I feel like takes up the majority of my binder. But anyways, this I think this is the Japanese Essential Edition pre-order, and then this is the B Deluxe pre-order. And then we have all the cards that come in the B Deluxe Edition. And then these four are the Lucky Draw cards for the B Deluxe Edition first round, as well as the B Essential Edition photo cards. And then we have some more of the B Deluxe Lucky Draw photo cards. This is the undisclosed version, and the previous one is the disclosed version. And then these come from the B Essential album. And then here is more B Deluxe photo cards again. And then B Essential photo cards as well as the random group card. And then the random OT7 set. This is an unofficial card that I used as a filler. And then this, these are the pre-orders for the B Essential edition. And I actually pulled every single one of these cards, so that was really exciting. And that's from the B Deluxe Edition. And then this is the M2U B Essential Edition Lucky Draws. And these are the Soundwave ones. And then these are the B Deluxe Edition Round 2 Lucky Draws. These three are from the Japanese fan club. This one, this one, and this one is from Universal Music Store Japan. This one... This one and this one are the Soundwave ones. And then lastly, these two are the M2U versions. And I just collected soap and then I happened to also collect some gin. And then next we have the, the best pre-order cards or postcards if you ordered the Blu-ray bundle. And then I also got a Japanese fan club version from a group order and I put Jimin as my first pick just because I don't collect Japanese photo cards and so I just put him as number one because I thought his photo cards were really cute. And then this next page is going to be better but we're not going to go through that because it's a bit of a mess. I will save that for a different video. I am also planning on re-sleeving this entire binder. It has white sleeves right now. But I'm planning on switching it to clear sleeves, but I did want to film this video before I did that just because I've had white sleeves and colored sleeves for so long that I wanted to have some sort of history of it, I guess. <laughs> That's not the right word. Okay, but anyways, this is my special photo card binder for BTS. And it houses the DVD and Blu-ray type PCs. So first we have the memories, and for this I am collecting rap line for at least this page. And this Hobie is actually the very first photo card I ever pulled. He wasn't even my bias at the time. And then for the memories I pulled Namjoon. The other ones I just bought. Or they came with the memories binders and I like knew what card I was getting. And then we have Season's Greetings 2020. And then the winter package for this I pulled Toby and three Jimmins. <laughs> it was not my initial plan to collect OT7, but it just worked out pretty well, so. And plus, it's a really cute set. And then here are the film strips. I don't know. What would you call those? And then these are the muster photo cards. I don't collect album photo cards, but I am slowly collecting soap from muster photo cards. So this is fourth muster Korea. 4th Muster Japan, 
and then the, this is fifth muster Korea and these are fifth muster Japan and then this is a photo card that came with a wallet I want to say I don't have Hobie's because his is horizontal and I feel like if I get Hobie's then I'm gonna want to get the other card as well so we're happy with just having Jin and Yugi's plus that is this is my favorite photo card ever I think it's so pretty and then we have the map of the soul photo book and on this page I pulled Yugi, Jimin, Hobie, and JK and I usually put Yugi in the middle but I feel like this card stands out way too much so I put him at the end for this page and then I pulled these two JK and Namjoon I didn't pull any Tay, which was a little bit sad and I do have a Jin on the way that I will put there and then we have the Festa calendar photo cards photo stuff <laughs> this set is super cute so is this one and this one and this one too I think this is my favorite actually next we have some Samsung photo cards I do have Namjoon's close-up on the way I don't really collect BTS collab photo cards but I made and accepted for this because these are so cute and then we have BTS's D-Icon photo cards this looks horrible it's fine I'll fix it later <laughs> and then for this I collected soap and Jimin oh and then I have like this random JK because I think he's so cute <laughs> So this next section is my horizontal section and so we're going to flip the binder and hope that this works out okay but i find that i actually don't look at horizontal pictures when they're grouped together with vertical ones so i wanted to make a section in my binder just for the horizontal photos and i found that since i did this i actually look at these a lot more so i'm glad i did it <laughs> so that first one was the fourth muster postcard and then these are the love yourself japan postcards from the first tour as well as the speak yourself tour and then i did collect the concert bookmarks for sao paulo and london i couldn't help myself <laughs> i love bookmarks because books are definitely one of my favorite things ever and then this is the magic shop postcard as well as the lenticular from the dvd and then the blu-ray and then we have the winter package pre-order sticker this is one of my favorite pictures ever and then these are from the map of the soul photo book these are not my favorites and then lastly we have the muster accordion book which I cut <laughs> okay and that is it for this binder so the last binders are my mini binders and I will leave a link to the creator of these binders in the description box but anyways this is the postcard binder I am thinking about moving these to a three pocket in my normal size binder just because I don't like that they face two different directions. But yeah, I store postcards and live photos in here. This is from 2019 Memories, the Blu-ray. And then this is from the Magic Shop Blu-ray, the Korean one. And then we have the New Year's Eve live postcards. These are some of my favorite outfits on them. <laughs> they look so good. And then we have Seasons Greetings 2020, and I pulled Yoongi, which was really exciting. Like for the longest time, I just like didn't pull him at all. So anytime I did, I got like overly excited. Okay, and then these are from the Winter Package 2020. And then the Map of the Soul photo book, the postcards and the lenticulars. And then the Vesta calendar is the last section for BTS. So that's the ticket and then the postcards, which are so cute. I love this photo shoot a lot. And then we have the, this is a pre-order gift if you ordered the B Essential Edition and the B Deluxe Edition together. And then these are from the Map of the Soul photo book. I do really like these as well. 
I think they're so pretty. And then at the back here we have N hyphens, postcard type things. So this is from the Goo Goo package. And then I have some black pink postcards. And then these are from Rose's photo book for her solo album. This is the random Polaroid, but this is my favorite. So yeah, that is it for this binder. There's a decent amount of room to grow in that one. And then the next one is just mini photo cards and just BTS. <laughs> and I think this is my favorite binder, if I'm being honest. So we have the Army Bomb version 3, I think it is. And then a Love Yourself, Speak Yourself tour photo card. And then we have their membership kit. I don't know what number it would have been. And then this is the Army Bomb Special Edition photo cards, as well as Yoongi's Bang Bang Con charger PC. And I do eventually hope to get Hobie's. And then these are the B Pajama photo cards, as well as the bag photo cards. And then we have the Hype photo cards. And I collected Biceline for this. And then the pajama PCs and the bag PCs. I do have the pajama PCs on the way, so I just have an extra soap now. <laughs> and then we have the ticket PCs, which you got if you ordered the 10 pack. And then the message cards from the So Wuzu merch. <laughs> so the way I have these organized is going to be really chaotic to most people because I did not, I did not care about keeping things in H order or fan chant order or even like number order <laughs> according to like the backs of the cards. So this is probably going to bother a lot of people, but I just ordered everything according to what I thought looked prettiest. So anyways, here is the first set. I just put the really purple ones here and then the not as purple ones on this side. And then again, I basically split them up by background. This is one of my favorite pages so I think this is so pretty. And then on this page everyone is doing hearts except for Namjoon and Yoongi. And then here everyone's doing peace signs except for Hobie and Namjoon. And then we have like a mismatch of poses here. Everyone's doing this pose on this page. And then this cute pose on this side. And then this one is like definitely the most random because they're doing something and then these two are doing something else and then there's just Tay there. I think these are hilarious though. <laughs> and then I did do a page of just the unit cards. And then after that is just fillers for the mini PCs that I have coming. Usually these would be in the right spot but I wanted to make things a little bit prettier for my blinder flip through. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. If you have any questions about anything, do leave them in the description. And if you have a favorite photo card, I would love to hear what yours is. Like just in general, not from my collection or anything. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. As always, I hope you're having a super wonderful day. Or have had a super wonderful day. And I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.